Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I want to show you the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition that I received. Um, these are the two boxes that it came in. This is the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition, adjustable warm light wireless charging 32 gigabyte in agave green. This is the Kindle ex itself, came in this box. And then this was inside it, the Kindle is here. And then in this box gives you the little USB-C cord that you can charge this with. Um, this is also um, enabled for wireless charging. Um, you can buy a wireless charger, which I did not do. I just used the USB-C cord here and plug it in. It's right next to your power button. Um, and then I also got the Kindle Paper White leather cover, also in the agave green. Um, so I've got that. And I will show you, um, I want to show you some different details about this, as well as some things that I found um, that maybe I didn't see when I was checking reviews myself prior to getting this. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I want to show you the size of this. Um, you'll see the cover inside is the Kindle. Um, is about the same size. So this is the leather cover. Um, it's leather on the front and back and then has um, like the plastic around the edges and the Kindle just snaps right in on the sides um, and is very secure. So let me put this back in the lock screen here while I do this. Um, this cover is made to where when you open it it automatically takes you to your library. But for the purpose of this, I don't want the distraction in the back. I'll show you the size here. Um, so it is from side to side, right at five inches wide, just below. And then six and three quarter inches in length for the measurements on the Kindle. And then, of course, with the cover in place, it's the cover does not extend that size very much. It's just over um, five inches in width and right at seven inches in length. So that is the, the size of this. It's, you know, not much bigger, honestly, than this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I think is the what it's officially called. It's not much bigger than that. Um, so you'll be able to see in comparison. Um, but so let's get started on some of the features of this. Um, this is opens up, of course, I put it on the lock screen. This is the book I'm currently reading. If you watched my previous video, um, you know that this book club started this week. Um, I'm going to show you some of the... So, I have the, the actual book um, that I was going to use for this, but after I got the Kindle, I've loved getting to use this so much that I actually uh, downloaded the book on here as well as the PDF documents for the workbook and things like that that was provided through the email um, from Women Women Living Well and uh, Good Morning Girls. So I'm actually doing everything on the Kindle and I'll show you how I'm using that. Um, and again, this might be a longer video if you wanna break it up in parts or whatever, um, just because I do have several things that I wanna show you that I didn't find when I was necessarily searching online for these things. So, let's get started on this. Um, we'll go to the main screen here. So, first of all, a couple things that I want to show you um, is you see the display at the top. You have your time, um, whether or not you're connected to Wi-Fi, which I am, and then your battery life. Um, the battery life, Amazon po posts about this that um, you can charge run on one charge for up to 10 weeks now of course that depends on how much you use it 
and you know for what you're using it for and how you have it connected to Wi-Fi. I will show you one way that you can save your battery life some. Um, of course you'll want to be connected to your Wi-Fi whenever you're downloading books and things of that nature. But once a book is downloaded, you don't necessarily need to leave it connected to Wi-Fi. So you can touch the drop down arrow here and turn it on airplane mode. And you'll see the little airplane comes up where your Wi-Fi um, emblem was. And that just get, shows you where you've got it in airplane mode. It will save on your battery life if you're doing using that. Um, so like if I were gonna take this um, with me somewhere on vacation and I've already downloaded my books or whatever, I could turn it on airplane mode and save my battery life. Um, so that's one thing that I wanted to show you. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you is that you can, you, the same drop down, um, you can sync this. So if you're reading a book on here and you're reading it on your app on your phone too, you can sync, you can have it set up to sync or you can sync to get to the place that you're at. Um, also, if you go into all settings um, and then screen and brightness, this is where you can um, toggle this open to show whatever current book you're reading on your lock screen. Um, and so that's one option that you can do. Also in this section, you can go click on appearance. You can change to light mode or dark mode. Um, I prefer the light mode. Um, and then you can also, in this same section, do the brightness and warmth. So you can do auto brightness, so it'll adjust to the lighting that you're in, or you can set it to what it, whichever um, brightness that you want it to. And basically, you can just toggle this up and down to change the brightness. I have mine set on 20. You can also change the warmth, which will change. It almost gives like a yellow hue to the screen. Um, I don't put that on at all. Or you can schedule the warmth. Um, and then you can also reduce brightness at night. So it'll, you know, change it just in nighttime settings. Um, so those are a couple of things that you can do there. Let's see if there's anything else here. Um, you can do a voice view reader, screen reader. So when you touch a certain item on a screen, it'll um, read that word for you or whatever. That might be good if you're, you know, for pronunciation and things like that. But I have mine turned off. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you in the settings. So now with the book, and when I open this up, you're going to see that I am um, only on chapter two. So I should be on chapter four, reading chapter four today. But um, my anniversary was this week and we went out of town for um, a little bit. And so I didn't take this with me. And um, so I'm going to get this called up. The good thing about her reading plans are, and especially with the book, and she has other reading plans too, they're Monday through Friday. So then if you do get behind, you always have the weekends to catch up to. Um, but I'll show you what I've got with this. Um, a couple of things, of course, you can, um, you know, just touch the page, turn to the next page, or go back to the page before. Um, and then I've got my settings to be a little bit um, bigger, so you can change that. You can touch up here at the top. A um, couple of things, if you touch the letters, you can go in and change your settings here. Um, let's see, one of the things is, go, if you go to more, and then you can show the clock when reading. I'm gonna turn that back on, so it'll show the clock at the top of my page. Um, that way, if I want to read for a little while, but I know I have to leave the house at 12 o'clock, then I can read and still have that time and not have to keep flipping back and forth. Um, one of the other things that you can do here, I'll just show you um, and when you're reading, if you want to highlight something, you can click on the word. Now that will give you the option to highlight it or get, write a note about it. It'll also give you the de definition for it. 
If you don't want to do anything, you can just click back out of it. If you just want the definition, so we're going to get the definition for conversation, it'll bring up the definition. If you want to highlight this whole sentence, you do that and it'll highlight. Um, and then you can undo it. If you want to just do a note, it'll highlight it and you can add a note. But we're going to cancel that because I don't want to put a note in there. And I also don't want to have that highlighted. So let me just click back out and highlight this again. And then we're going to delete the highlight. So once you've highlighted things in the book, let's see if I can find a page here. I have turned, it comes standard to be turned on um, where other people, you can see what other people have highlighted and it doesn't, all right, so right here it says 11 highlighters and it just does, it doesn't highlight it for you in your book. It just does like a little underline for it, if you can see that. And it tells that you 11 other people have highlighted that. So it brings your attention to it. You can highlight it if you want or if it's not something that you feel is important to you, you don't have to highlight it. Um, I'm going to get back to the page that I'm on. All right, so then the other thing, if you touch up here when you're in your book, this little thing that looks like a notebook here, um, you can touch that. And it will pull up any highlights that you have made in the book. So um, anywhere that you've highlighted anything, you can see the things that you've highlighted. Um, and then down here, it'll tell you if, like if you've made any notes or anything like that. One thing about this is that you can, um, that you can, once you pull this up, you can click this button here and it will send your highlights to an email address that's on your Kindle account. So if you want just to print out the highlights that you've made from a specific book, whether you want to teach from that or whatever, then you can do that. Um, so that's one good thing. Um, another thing that you have up here, um, you can bookmark a page. If you don't want it bookmarked, you just touch it again and it'll undo it. Um, you can search for certain things, certain words or certain phrases. Um, you can also, if you tap on the three dots when you're in your book, you can get information about this book and it'll just tell you like the, the basic details about the book and about more books by that same author. You can follow that person. It marks it as current. You've, it tells you if you've got it marked marked as currently reading in your Goodreads account, and I'll show you how you can connect that. Um, also, another thing with that, with those three dots, this X-ray button. Now it's not available on this book, but it is available on some books. You can touch that, and it'll give you information. This is especially good with like if you read a lot of fiction books. It'll give you like details about um, the characters in the book, special um, themes and ideas in the book and things like that. Um, but it's not available on this specific book. Vocabulary Builder, I have, um, so you can see those words that we just looked up. Uh, it'll, it builds those up in your vocabulary for this book. So it'll, you can click on that and you can see what the, the definition is and you can click delete if you don't need it anymore. This is one that I put in here earlier so that um, I could show you guys, but it's it gives you the definition and it shows you the passage that it was used in where you, passage of the book that it was used in that you highlighted it in. Um, you can click back out of that. You can do flashcards. Um, so it will just do through the flashcards there and it'll show you each book each word that you have um, marked in there and this was actually I didn't realize it did this but this I'll show you this so here's the books that are the words that are highlighted or that are that were that I clicked on and that we've defined this is in the still standing book 
Still standing. This is in another book chosen for this, How to Be Married to Ministry. Um, so that was in another book that I read. So it keeps those words in here so you can exit your flashcards. But any words that you highlight throughout your books or that you define throughout your books um, will show up in this list. And again, to define a word, you just um, click on that word. It underlines it. It gives you the definition at the top. And then you click out of it. That will automatically be added to your vocabulary builder that you can find, again, in the three dots up here. Um, you've got, you can get to your settings from here. I don't really know why you would want to disable your touch screen, but that option is in there. Um, and so then there's that. Um, let's see, what else do I want to show you? Oh, one thing that you can do, say you're on this page and the, you this whole page is like awesome and you want this whole page, but you don't want to necessarily highlight the whole page. You can touch in the right top corner and the left bottom corner. When I do this, you'll see the screen kind of flash. See how it flashed there? That takes a screenshot of your of your Kindle. And then when you have the little cord that comes with this, you can plug it in here and connect it to your computer. Once you connect it to your computer, you'll open the drive that says Kindle Drive and you'll be able to find a file that has screenshots and you can pull up any screenshots that you've taken from your Kindle. Um, so that is a good option to have. Um, let me go back here. I'm gonna touch back at the top. I'm going to go back to my home screen. So this is the home screen. You'll notice at the bottom, the book that I'm reading is showing up in the middle. My library is on the right. These are all of the books, guides, even my Audible. I don't have Audible anymore, but even those Audible books show up in here as well. Now, once I listen to all of those Audible books, I will probably delete them from the Kindle. They'll still be in the Audible app, but I will probably delete them from the Kindle simply because Audible books use more space than a regular book. Um, but, so this is my library. I want to show you these PDF documents came from the, um, the email, and let's see if I can find it here. Um, I'm trying to remember what email I used to get that. I think it's in this one. Let me look and see. Yeah. So from this email, the Women, Women Living Well email, um, when you get the Still Standing Workbook, it would open up in this form. I just, from the email, once I opened the PDF, I hit the Send button and I sent it to my Kindle as a PDF. And so once you do that, it, it links to your Kindle and puts those things in here. So I'll open this and show you that's the reading plan for, and it shows 100% because it's only one page and I've opened it and read it. Then you also have the scripture declarations um, that you can go through um, on here. And you'll see when you're embarrassed, when you're worried, you can see all of those. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you, this is the workbook that I downloaded on here. I want you to see, let me see if you, I'm, I'm hoping you can see this well enough. Um, this is the first page of the first chapter. Where are you, God? And it's got the reflection questions. And if you see those numbers, one, two, three, four. So what I have done is I just hold at the end and it makes these little marks. Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit that. And I hit note. And then I typed my answers to those questions and saved it. But those it doesn't show up here, but it shows the... Um, the number where you can look at the answers. 
So let's, I'll open number one for you because those are not personal answers on that specific question. Um, the question says, read Psalm 77 again, starting on page 15. Notice how the psalmist goes from feeling forgotten by God to praising God for his greatness and strength. What happened in, ver in verses 10, 11, and 12 that changed in perspective? So I can touch number one, and then it le it'll open up the answer to the question. So that's how I'm utilizing this workbook that goes with this Bible study in this Kindle, rather than having to carry around a notebook to um, type those things out. You have your scroll bar on the side that you can scroll down through all of your books. You can arrange these by ascending, descending, by author, by most recent, however you want to arrange those. And then you can also put this in um, form by, by, filter it by just books or, you know, the different types of files that you have. Um... And then you can get to your Goodreads from here. Um, if you have your Goodreads account linked to your Kindle, then when you finish a book, it automatically takes you to your Goodreads where you can give it a, a star rating and write a review, and it'll show up on your Goodreads. It'll also show, show, show when you start a book and when you finish a book. Um, but what I want to do is go to the um, from my library to the home. It'll tell from your library... Books you may like on Kindle Unlimited. Um, Kindle Unlimited, when you buy the um, Kindle Reader, comes with a three-month free, and then it's eleven ninety-nine. after that. I, of course, took the three months free. I don't know if I'll keep it afterwards. It depends on how many books I actually see that I use from that. Um, but you've got um, series, books that you may like based off of your downloads, um, just different things so that you can, um, you know, expand your library if you want to. Uh, and then you can also click on the shopping cart and it will uh, take you to the Kindle store where you can actually purchase or download books from the Kindle store. Um, so... It's got ones that are recommended for you, continuing series that you've done, um, inspired by your shopping list. There's just so many different things. Um, and I, if you're not a, um, if you're watching this video and you're not a spiritual person, most of my books are, that are going to show up are spiritual. Um, um, if you've watched any of my other videos on my channel, I do reviews for Bible studies, Bibles, Bible resources, things like that. Um, uh, my husband and I have been in ministry for several years, so that's why you'll see all these things. But if you're not spiritual, these features that I'm showing are going to tailor your books to what you would read and things like that. So um, hopefully you'll still find this video helpful. Um, so yeah, those are... I usually keep mine set on the library. And then I'll show you, since we've opened a couple other things, when I close this, it's going to go to a generic Kindle lock screen. The reason for that is, is that I had opened my one of those PDFs that does not have a book cover. So it's not going to recognize a book cover to put on here, so it's going to pull in a generic Kindle lock screen. So... Anyway, this has been a long video, I know. I wanted to show you some of those really good features. Um, if you have any comments or questions about this Kindle, um, Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition or the leather cover, please leave them in the comments section down below. In the description box, I will link both the Kindle Reader and the, lot, and the uh, cover that I purchased. Um, and then that way if you're interested in one of these, you can go look for them. I do really like this. I have always been a book person. I've always loved to have a book 
but since I've started using this, I'm, I'm actually told my husband, I was like, I really would like to buy every book that I have um, that I want to keep or that I haven't read yet that's on my shelf that needs to be read on here and get rid of the, the paperback books because this is just so convenient. It's so easy to read. I find that I'm reading quicker and getting through books quicker. Um, and so I've really enjoyed having this. I think it was an excellent purchase. I'm very pl pleased with it. Um, and I will be leaving a review on Amazon for this particular item because I am very pleased with, um, with the Kindle Reader and very happy that I purchased it. But again, I'll leave these in the description box. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below. And, um... Hopefully, this has shown you something that either is new to you or that is helpful to you to decide whether or not you want to make this purchase. Um, but thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Be blessed and be a blessing to someone today.